Okay, so I think they sandbagged the first episode because this one is so much better by comparison. It totally nails the dark Star Wars aesthetic and I effing love it. We are dropped into this rough, uh, neon, noir, Tokyo, complete with night markets and strange creatures and strange foods. And we even get to see like a Star Wars meth lab, which I'm totally here for. And I'm calling it now. The Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars meth lab costume is gonna be the Halloween costume that everyone's gonna be raving about for, for this year. We also get to see these cool uh, bounty hunters and even like a Jedi con artist. Then, oh my God, Obi-Wan uses the force. Up to that point, I really believed like he had just kind of given up on the force and he was never gonna use it ever again. Also, they wrapped up uh, one of my biggest complaints, which was uh, kind of like, you know, why do all these people have lightsabers? You know, the Inquisitors are all Jedi who sold out to the dark side, which, you know, in a revolution of that kind, like sure, there's gonna be some opportunists. Like I thought that was like really cool. I still don't think they should all have lightsabers or if they are gonna have the lightsabers, I don't think they should get the red ones, but I mean, it's a, it's a cool explanation and it's a cool twist. I'm always excited to see people use their imaginations. This also has a phenomenal ending to the episode. You know, Obi-Wan has this sort of like struck look. Obi-Wan sort of has, has this like realization of, oh man, like the past is gonna come back and I'm gonna have to deal with it. Uh, and he, you know, says the word Anakin and it just like strikes you right to the core. That powerful word is then followed by Anakin in his water tank, which I guess we should call him Vader now. Vader in his tank, like submerged Vader, which might actually be a better Halloween 2022 costume. So all in all, I totally love this episode from the aesthetic to some of the rooftop laser fights. Just really loving this series at the moment. I think they've got a great two episodes. Again, the first one was tame in light uh, of what we find out in the second one. I think it had to be, you know, we're just kind of setting the table here and we're gonna start seeing some really, I hope, exciting adventures of Obi-Wan. I have no idea where it's gonna go and that's the best possible place to be. Anything is possible. Let's see what happens 